good morning all welcome back to our course on the c programming language in today's session i am going to discuss about the string handling functions in the previous sessions we have started our discussion on the string handling function where we have seen what a string is and why we require these uh, ha string handling functions and what are the various examples we have for this string handling functions such as the string length string copy string comparison and string concatenation and we know that all these string handling functions are placed inside a library which is called as the string dot h and we need to include this string dot h header file into our program whenever we want to make use of these predefined functions in the previous sessions we have completed the concept of string length with one programming example and similarly we have completed the concept of string copy with one programming example and in today's session i am going to concentrate on the string comparison function we'll discuss what this string comparison is and how the strings are compared what is the output we'll get everything we'll discuss and we'll also discuss some of the variants of this string comparison function and we'll end up this session with one programming example on the string comparison function so this is the syntax for the string comparison function this strcmp is the name of the function and the return type of the string comparison function is an integer let me tell you what this string comparison function is going to do this string comparison function it compares the two strings which are given as input to that function and it will return the integer value so the integer value can be either 0 or it can be less than 0 or it can be greater than 0 so what is this integer value this integer value is nothing but the difference of the ascii values of the first mismatch character i will give you with an example how this comparison is being performed on these two strings but before that you just have a uh, have it in mind that the string comparison function is going to give the difference of the ascii values so let me write it here so it gives the difference of the ascii values and this is important ascii values of first mismatch character in the string that is the reason why the string comparison function is having a data type of integer and coming to the inputs that is being taken by the string comparison function it takes two inputs one is string and the second one is also string as we told that this char star is nothing but a pointer to a character and it is used to define a string or to declare a string variable similarly this str2 is also a character pointer that means we are taking another string as the second parameter so overall we have this string comparison as the function which compares the two input strings that are given as the inputs to the string comparison function and it is going to return an integer value it can be a positive value or it can be a negative value or it can be a zero when it will return negative value when it will return the positive value and when it will return the zero uh, we are going to discuss it in a while right so let me take an example of how these two strings are going to be compared by this string comparison function let me take the string one as h e l l o everything is written in the lower case letters and let me take the string 2 as h e l l and let me write this as a hella this is string 1 is hello and string 1 is hella 
when we input these two strings to the string comparison function strcmp the first string is hello and the second string is hello what happens at this particular point is it will compare the first character of the first string with the first character of the second string so this is string 1 and this is string 2 so the first character of string 1 which is h lower case h will be compared with the first character of the second string which is h here both of them are same therefore the pointer will move to the next point next character in the string 1 similarly it will uh, the second pointer will also move to the second character in string 2 here also you can observe that both of them are e therefore it will move to the next point character l and l are compared both are lowercase letters and both belong to the same character therefore it will move to the next character in the first string the pointer is pointing to the letter l and similarly in the second string it is also pointing to the letter l both of them are lowercase letters so it the pointers will move to the last character and here you can see that in the first string the character that is pointed by the pointer is o lowercase o and in the second string the last character that the pointer is pointing is lowercase a now what happens here is it will compare the ascii values so o minus a will be calculated we know that the ascii values of the lower case letters a to z will range from 97 to 122 similarly the ascii values of the upper case letters a to z will range from 65 to 90 A is having an ASCII value of 97 and B will be having the ASCII value of 98, C will have 99, D is having 100 like that. I will be having 105 j will be having 106 k will be having 107 l will be having 108 m will be having 109 and will be having 110 and o will be having 111 like that we will have the small z will be having the ascii value of 122 the string comparison function since it has found the first mismatch character on both the strings at the fifth character that is o and a it will give the difference of the ascii values of lower case o and lower case a therefore 111 minus 97 so the result will be given like this so let me tell you once again that the string comparison function starts its comparison from the first character onwards when both of them are having the same characters the pointers will be moved to the next characters until unless it founds the first mismatch character so this will be like this this ascii value of o minus ascii value of a that is 111 minus 97 will get the result as 14 and this 14 value will be returned by this integer that by this string comparison function we know that the return type of the string comparison is integer so this is how it is going to work that means here the in the string one the first mismatch character is having more ascii value than the first mismatch character of the second string therefore it is returning a positive value if the first mismatch character 
of the string 1 is having the less ASCII value than the second string, then we will get a negative value. For suppose assume that both the strings are having same strings, str1 is having hello and str2 is also having hello. In such case, after it finds every character is matching, it will return a value which is equal to 0. So, these are the three values what we will get from this uh, string comparison function that is 0 if both the strings are equal that means if they do not differ and negative value if the ASCII value of uh, the first mismatch character in string 1 is less than the ASCII value of the first mismatch character of string 2 and it will return the positive value if the first mismatch character of string 1 is having the more ASCII value than uh, the second string's mismatch character. This is how the string comparison is going to work and these are some examples we have string comparison of both the strings are hello therefore they are not going to differ from each other therefore the string comparison function is going to return 0. Here you can observe that string comparison of yellow with hello. So, the first character y and h both of them of course they belong to the lower case letters only, but y comes after h therefore obviously y will be having more ASCII value than h therefore it is going to return a positive value greater than 0. And when you compare this str cmp of hello and hello where the first character of first string is uppercase h and the first character of the second string is lowercase h. We know that the ASCII values of the lowercase letters are more than the ASCII values of the uppercase letters. Here h will be having less ASCII value and this lowercase h will be having greater ASCII value. So, when you compare these values or when you subtract the ASCII value of capital H with the ASCII value of lowercase h, you will be having the negative value. This will be equal to some 32, minus 32. And the next example, this one is we are comparing two strings which is hello and after that we have hello there. But you should be very careful in this type of things that here we have hello and here we have hello there, but there is one extra space here. Therefore, you have to take into account this extra space also. Extra spaces are also having the ASCII value. So, I think white space is having an ASCII value of 32. Let us see, we will check this string in the example. And here in the fifth example, we have two strings some space diff why I am stressing this space is as we know that we need to consider the white space as one character. And here in the second string I have some space diffed. So, the last character is mismatch. Up to this everything goes very positively. So, S compared with S they are same therefore, O compared with O they are same M compared with M E compared with E and space compared with space similarly d i f up to here there is no problem. But in the last character the first string is having f and the second string is having t. Therefore, the ASCII difference of f and t will be returned. Since f is having the lower ASCII value than t why because t comes after f it will return a negative value. So, this is how it is going to work. And there are some variants of the string comparison function like string ncmp. Uh, this type of variation we have already seen in string copy also, where we have two types of copy functions. What is One is the strcpy and the second one is strncpy. So, in the second function it is going to copy n characters from string 2 to string 1 that is 
from destination string to source string. In the similar fashion, when you want to compare only the first n characters, that is important. The first n characters, when you want to make a comparison, then you are going to make use of another variant of the string comparison function, which is strncmp. You can observe that this is the name of the function and it is going to return a positive value or negative value or positive value similar to that of strcmp only. But the number of parameters that are going to be accepted by this strncmp will be 3. The first one is string, the second parameter is also a string and the third parameter is very important. It is an integer value n for which the user has to give some integer value. For example, if the user gives an integer value of 4, so the first 4 characters of string 1 will be compared with the first 4 characters of string 2. And whatever may be the length of the string 1 and string 2, it is not going to consider the entire string for comparison. Why? Because you have mentioned that the size of n is 4 and you have asked the compiler to compare the first n character, the first 4 characters. So, it will make a comparison of the first 4 characters only. This is a very good example we have. right? So, str cmp of you can see here the first string is some space diff and the second string is some space diff where diff is written in uppercase in the second string. When this two strings are given as input to strcmp, it is a normal comparison function. So, it will compare the entire string therefore, that is the reason why s compared with s ok, o compared with o, m compared with m, e compared with e and then space is also compared with space, it is also ok and finally, there is a mismatch at the sixth character that is the lower case d with the upper case d. We know that the lower case letters are having the greater ASCII values than the upper case letters. Therefore, this will give the difference of D minus capital D which will be a positive value. But if you take the same strings from the str ncmp function and you are giving a value of 4 for the str ncmp function. In this case, it is going to compare the first 4 characters, it is not at all going to consider the remaining characters for the comparison purpose. So, S compared with S will be done ok, O compared with O, M compared with M and E compared with E and it is not going to consider the string from this space onwards. So, the first four characters are same therefore, it will return a value of 0. This is how the str ncmp is going to work. And there is another variant of the string comparison function where if the user does not want to make any difference between the uppercase letters and lowercase letters, he can make use of one uh, specialized function here that is str case cmp, this one. So, you can see the name of the function that is str case case is lowercase and uppercase. CMP. It is going to compare the two strings, the lower and upper cases. Uh, it is going to compare the two strings by considering both the lower case and the upper case letters equally. Therefore, there is no difference in the uh, uh, upper case letters and the lower case letters. You can see that the return type is integer and it is going to take two input values, both of them are strings only. And another variant exists for this string comparison where you want to ignore the first n characters that is str n case cmp. It accepts three parameters one is string, the second parameter is also string, the third parameter will be a value integer value which the user has to pass to ask the compiler to compare those many characters only starting from the first character. And since you have case here, it is going to ignore 
the upper case and lower cases it is going to treat both of them similarly so this is all about the string comparison function and let us have uh, a small programming example let us discuss a small programming example and let me take the first program this is uh, let me write the program name program to illustrate the concept of str cmp function i'm going to include the stdio.h header file and since i'm going to make use of the predefined string handling functions i have to include one header file which is string.h i take my main function now i am going to declare two strings here i am making use of the array character array concept so char str1 is the name of the function and let me take the size of the string as 30 and i am assigning it let me take the string as hello and i'm going to take the second string str2 let me take the size as 30 itself and uh, i'm i'm taking the string as the same string hello with the first character as capital h now i'm going to declare an integer variable to catch hold of the value that is returned by the string comparison function we know that the string comparison is going to return an integer value and i am going to store that integer value inside this n variable so n is equal to str cmp of i am going to give the first string and the second parameter is string 2 now i want to print the value of this n let me check what is that i will get so if you look at this example i am taking both the strings as equal so the first character h is compared with the first character of string 2 h both are same go to the next character e compared with e both are same l compared with l l compared with l and then we have o compared with o both the strings are equal so we will get a value which is equal to 10 the program see here we got the output as 0 we can check for any number of characters let me take the value of h the first character of string 1 is the lower case h and the first character of string 2 is upper case h so the as this will the first character is the mismatched character therefore it will give the difference of small h compared with the upper case h we know that the upper case letters are having the lower ascii values than the lower case letters therefore this will return a positive value see here i got 32 let me reverse the case here i'll take the upper case letter here in the string 1 and i'll take the lower case letter in string 2 see here you got the negative value of minus 32 
this is how it is going to work let me take the first mismatch character uh, yellow yellow and the second string is hello therefore y minus s key value of y minus s key value of h since the y comes after h it will return the positive value only which is equal to the difference of the s key values of y and h uh, let us take the str n cmp so i'm going to just change the str cmp with str n cmp and you should be very careful that str n cmp accepts three parameters strings as well as the number of characters which you want to compare from the first you cannot compare the strings from any point you have to start comparison of the two strings from the first character only right. so let me take uh, the hello itself hello world see here without this str cmp let uh, str n cmp let me take the string comparison itself here in the first example or uh, the first string i have taken the hello world with w as the uppercase and in the second string all the characters in the string are in the lower case letters only so we have a mismatch at this sixth character seventh character sorry sixth character is the space h e l l o five characters and after that i have space therefore there is a mismatch at the seventh character in string one i have the uppercase w and in string two i have the lowercase w so it will return a value of minus 32 but if i take the same strings with str n cmp you have to specify the number of characters that you want to compare right so the first four characters of string one that is hell h e l l will be compared with the first four characters of the second string that is h e l l now it is going to return zero why because the first four characters are equal it will be same when we check up to 5 and it will be same when we check up to si first 6 characters why because space is also same in both the strings like this but when you take 7 here so H E L L O and W is also considered so the same value what we got in the previous example of str cmp will get it like this this is how the str n cmp is going to work when you take let me go with the other variant str case cmp where you don't want to consider the cases the lower case and the upper case letters are treated equally so let me change the strings the first one is the lower case hello and the second one is the upper case hello if i don't give this case function or the case function let me check it out the value with strcmp so with strcmp i am getting the value as 32 when i take the str case here So it is going to ignore both the uppercase letters and lowercase letters so case is going to be ignored it is going to take both the uppercase and lowercase letters equally so i should get zero here see here and this is how the different string comparison functions are going to work let us have a quick recap of what we have discussed in today's session we have started our today's session with what are these string handling functions we have why we require this what are the various types of string handling functions uh, 
and where what library is going to be included when we want to deal with these uh, string handling functions and we have started our discussion with the string comparison the string comparison function returns integer value it accepts two inputs that is two strings and it is going to return a zero or positive value or negative value it is going to return zero if both the strings are equal it is going to return a positive value if the first mismatch character ascii value of first string is greater than the ascii value of first mismatch character of the second string similarly it is going to return a negative value if the ascii value of the first mismatch character of string 1 is less than the ascii value of the first mismatch character of string 2 we have seen some examples and we have gone through one of the variant of the string comparison function which is str ncmp we have seen the examples and we have seen another two variants that is str kscmp and str nkscmp and we have seen uh, the programming examples how this string comparison and string n comparison string case comparison is going to work that's all for today's session thank you one and all for joining